I have a second channel, Cube Compium DDX. Hey everybody, in this one I'm going to talk about some ways to get some extra life out of your existing laptop. So the example we have here is actually a Dell Instrument 1525 notebook from 2008. And this is one of, I would say, the more upgradable models out there. This particular laptop, you can actually replace the CPU without having to do a full teardown of the laptop. But there are some ways you can upgrade your laptop to get a little extra life out of it, get a little extra performance out of it. Um, so I'm going to talk about those today. So probably the easiest way you can get extra performance out of your laptop is by increasing the system RAM. Many laptops you can do this by removing a door on the bottom of the laptop itself. This will come off and you'll have access to your RAM modules. Every laptop is a little different. Some of them are not so easy to upgrade. Some laptops you actually got to take the motherboard out just to get to the RAM modules. But in most scenarios uh, it's pretty easy to upgrade RAM and it's literally just you look up your model of your computer to determine what kind of memory it has installed and you can add additional RAM or you can replace the existing module. Um, that's actually one thing I do recommend if you're adding additional RAM because some laptops already have two modules in them and generally the max you can put in a laptop is two modules. Um, even if the laptop has one slot free I do still recommend replacing the existing RAM with a new kit that way you'll have matching modules that way you know for sure that your modules are exactly the same and you can run them in dual channel so installing the RAM literally it's just you uh, of course you unplug the laptop you remove the battery you take off generally a cover to access the module and you just change up the modules there's no software to be installed nothing like that in some cases you may have to uh, um, if the laptop supports it load an XPM profile which I don't think that's really something you'll see very often on laptops it's mostly with 3 tail desktop performance motherboards that you can do this but um, again there's no software to install no drivers to install you simply insert the modules or replace the modules and you will end up with more memory um, now if your operating system is 64 bits, you're good to go. But if you have a 32 bit OS and you install more than 4 gigs of RAM or 4 gigs or more, um, then you may want to you may want to wipe and reinstall your operating system with a 64 bit copy. Okay, so another another way you can upgrade a laptop is by upgrading the hard drive to a solid state drive. Now this does require a bit more in depth uh, knowledge of how to work on this kind of stuff because you would need to know how to clone a disk. There's software you can download for free. One utility I like to use is Mini Tool Partition Wizard. Um, you can download the software and you can, of course, purchase a uh, solid state drive. And let's say a laptop like this uses just a two and a half inch SATA drive. So um, in that case, you would have to buy a uh, USB to SATA adapter again they're not too expensive and what you could do is you could use the software to clone the drive that way you can copy over your existing files and everything and then you could just swap out the hard drive for the new solid state drive or you can back up your files to an alternative storage location like a USB drive or an external hard drive or external SSD and then you can swap out the drive and then do a clean selection of Windows and start over from scratch. Going from a hard drive, especially a two and a half inch hard drive to a solid state drive can really get you a lot of performance gain, and especially in an older laptop, even one like this. This laptop currently has a solid state drive in it. It also has four gigs of RAM, which is the maximum it can take. Another way you can upgrade the performance of a laptop in some cases it may be easier in other cases it's either difficult or it can't be done due to the um, processor being soldered to the motherboard but in some laptops you can actually change out the processor for a better CPU again this requires a bit more um, 
advanced knowledge of computers. This is not something that's exactly um, easy for the DIY. It, like I say, it depends on your tech knowledge. This laptop here was one that was really easy to do because this entire door comes off and you have access to, again, your, your RAM modules, but also your processor and your Wi-Fi card. This laptop, I wish I wish more were designed like this, but there are other laptops out there where the bottom comes off revealing the entire motherboard. And in some cases, depending on the model of the computer, the processor may be socketed or it may be um, permanently soldered to the motherboard. In that case, you wouldn't be if, if it's soldered to the motherboard, you would not be able to upgrade it. However, I do want to mention again that increasing the RAM and going from a hard drive to a solid state drive could net you a lot of performance gain. Let's say your laptop is pretty old and your battery is getting worn out. Uh, one thing you can do is replace the battery. Now, older laptops, the batteries are generally external. You just, for example, do this and I do this one-handed. The battery comes right out and just install a new battery like so and you're good to go. But some laptops now have the battery internal to the laptop so you'd have to actually remove some covers to get to it and you definitely want to use additional caution when doing an internal battery because the internal batteries are generally lithium polymers they're like pouch cells and i do i personally don't like the newer style batteries i must refer to these that are external they're made of 18650s and they're, they're generally more durable um so those are several big ways you can upgrade the performance of your laptop again it really depends on the laptop itself, the model, how it's designed. So again, this is a Dell Instrument 1525 laptop from 2008. When I originally got it, it had just a Pentium dual core processor, one gigabyte of RAM, 80 gigabyte, uh, two and a half inch, 5400 RPM hard drive, Windows Vista Home Premium. It was, it was slow. It was super, super slow. And once I got it, I uh, I got this laptop second hand back in the, in the 2011. I over over the years I swapped up the CPU, went from the Pentium dual core to a much better Core 2 Duo processor. I uh, migrated from a hard drive eventually now to the SSD. I increased the RAM from one gigabyte to four gigabytes. I've also upgraded the Wi-Fi adapter in this from the original wireless G card to a wireless N. That's another thing you some kind sometimes can do, but that really depends. Um, I've also changed out the DVD ROM drive for a DVD burner. I mean, I've done a number of different things to this machine. Um, as a matter of fact, if the battery's got enough charge, well, I can just plug it in. I'll show you something else about this machine. So again, this is a 2008 laptop. It's got all these upgrades done to it. And check this out. As you can see, we are running Windows 11 on this machine. This comes to show. Um, now, I will say that this laptop does not meet Microsoft's Elite Class Minimum System Requirements for Windows 11, but um, you can still install it using Rufus, a utility that you can uh, you can use to um, change. You can actually have it not include the TPM and processor checks. Now, I would not recommend doing this on a laptop that you are um, selling to somebody. If you're selling a laptop to someone, I suggest you go with Windows 10, but I mean, this comes to show. This thing can actually run Windows 11. And it runs it really well. So, this is just an example of how you can get some additional life out of an older laptop. Now, if it's a really, like, budget-end laptop, chances are you may end up having a CPU that's permanently soldered to the motherboard. And sadly, newer laptops, they're, in some cases, they're not as upgradable, but you can you can actually um, upgrade from a hard drive to an SSD 
In some cases, the laptop, if it has an M.2 slot, you can go to an M.2 SSD and leave your hard disk intact. Um, and or you can upgrade the RAM, provided the, the RAM is not permanently attached to the motherboard. So, again, this is, a, this is a brief summary of some ways you can get some additional life out of a laptop. And you get a little additional performance out of it. I mean, this thing, it... I don't use it daily anymore, but it could still be a daily. It could it could still be a daily driver uh, for basic use like internet browsing and video watching and stuff like that. I mean, this comes to show. So I'll go ahead and shut this back down. So anyways, that is just one example of a way you can get. Some additional life have a laptop, and this is a brief summary of some ways that you can upgrade an existing laptop to make it a little bit better and perform a little better. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well, everybody, that wraps up for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to your channel and be sure to tick that bell so you get notified when new videos are posted. Also, don't forget I have a whole lot of other interesting videos here on the channel to check out. And also, in addition, I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX, where I have all sorts of other videos not exactly related to technology. Links to the channels are available at the end of this video. Again, I thank you for your support and thanks for watching this video.